Hi guys, I'm Maria Athena. And I'm Michelle. And welcome to my second channel. Um, Michelle is my sister, and today we want to show you some arts and crafts that we made at a local art studio because we, well, at least I never do arts and crafts, and so Michelle invited me and my cousin to go out with her today and do a free art session that lasted from what, one four. to five? Yeah, one to five. So four yeah. hours of just free art. It was one of the best things ever. And everything was, you know, without price. So it was great. And there were <laughs> tons of different things we could use. It was a lot of fun. So we want to show you what we made and maybe you can tell us which ones of our art are your favorites. And if you... If I want to start out actually, this is a, um, a crown that I made. Um, it is made out of string and beads. So red, white, and blue and gold because those seem to be like the theme colors that I use today in like half of my artworks. But yeah. yeah. So actually, if you want to show yours first, or we can alternate, it doesn't matter. So I showed mine. You can okay. show yours. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start. Um, so this is a photo, and it says, uh, and we write our stories in the colors of our souls. And it's kind very of like poetic. Very, yeah, very poetic. I love like self-expression. Art is awesome. Um, I actually look to be like an art therapist in the future, and so like, just using art, it's the best thing ever to me, so. Huzzah. Anything yeah. else you want to say about that one? Um, no, I think that's about it. I think the vibrant colors really capture that your soul can express itself in any way, shape, or form, so. Nice. Yeah. So, this is the first one that I did today, and there's a lot going on, I know. Um, what I started out doing was, I actually started writing some Russian letters on here, and then I started writing some Greek and German letters as well. And this is part of one of the only Japanese characters I know, which is the one for um, Tokyo. So, um, and I messed it up, obviously, but because I don't know Japanese. <laughs> but um, so I did that in black, and then I like did you know gray, basically splashes all over the entire thing, painted it all blue, and then all of the letters that I could still see, I went over them in white. So that is how I came up with this. Yeah, I love the way the different colors like contrast against each other. It makes it really beautiful. And plus, if you turn it to the side, totally different picture. <laughs> and same this way, and this way. You see, so I, this is, you know, four artworks at once. Yes. Um, mine, if you flip it upside down, it's just four, it's upside down on a paper. So <laughs> that's that fun one. Um, this one's a little small, so I'll have to bring it up close. It is a bunch of puzzle pieces, and it says, and we try to piece together all the fragments of our mind. And this is all um, different puzzle pieces that I tried to shove together, and it was really hard doing that because there was about 500 puzzle pieces in a bag, and I was just like searching for ones that weren't connected at all. Um, and so I think I did a good job in managing to shove them together to show that sometimes you have to like connect things in a different way and look at things like kind of look for the silver lining even. Um, I think that's cool. Yeah. So I think I it really must like have been that. difficult to find all of the matching pieces, which aren't even matching if you look closely. Yeah. I don't know if you just said that. But. I don't know. It's just like really. There was a whole bag of just like non matching puzzle pieces, and we were just like, go. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. So that was, that was my interesting other piece that I did. And then this is the second major piece that I did. Um, if you can see, it says President Carter, and there are 13 stripes in a black outline. And if you've also noticed, I've changed the stars on the flag into crosses. That's all I have to say about this one. <laughs> well, this one, I love this one. I think this one's really cool. Usually, I don't think my artwork is very great, but I don't know, like I said, red, white, and blue were like my colors today. I think it's the frenzy of being back in America after spending two months in Europe and seeing tons of people over there, tons of tourists and tons of um, Europeans just wearing American flags all over the place. And yeah. Yeah. And it's cool even just seeing like using art and being like, okay, those colors work and just going with it, not questioning it. So that was something I really liked in your pieces to get today. Nice. Is there anything else you want to show? No, I actually, um, the other pieces I did aren't the best. So I'm gonna <laughs> give it over to Maria so she can show you the other fabulous pieces she did. Well, these are just my last two little pieces. Um, and they're both red, white, blue, and gold. <laughs> um, so this one says projects, and these are little tiny sparkly stars that I put on it um, because there's lots of projects that I want to do over the next 
two months before I return to Europe. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna hang this on my wall and then put this big bright pink container that I have right on like right underneath it so that I can remember that these are all the projects I have to work on and so hopefully every day I will get part of some project done and then this motivation. this is my last one I don't know if this is inspired by the latest spider-man because I saw the latest spider-man and well I saw it in Germany and it is totally awesome but I made this by covering my hands well, or my fingers at first, completely with, um, you know, red on the one hand, blue on the other, and then I just, you know, kind of played piano on this little <laughs> piece of cardstock. And actually, this is a bit thicker than cardstock, so I'm not really sure what material this yeah. is. But it's durable, which is the good part, so. Yeah, so this was the other thing that I did. But then after that, as I will show some pictures in the very end, um, I ended up painting my entire hands, going up my arms, and making handprints yeah. pretty much everywhere. <laughs> when Maria gets into art, she goes all the way. And so she engr engrossed herself in all of her artwork, but it paid off. Her pieces turned out amazing, and so it was worth it in the end. Mm -hmm. That was a fun day. We had tons of fun. We hope you enjoyed looking at our artwork. Again, we are not really artists, but... Aspiring, no. Aspiring, <laughs> yes. No. I would like to do more painting and more drawing and stuff like that. Yeah. So, so maybe we'll have to do it another day and you make it another vlog saying what we did. So, yep. Check. Let us know if this interests you. Yep. That sounds uh, so lame. That's such a lame <laughs> ending for this video. Yeah. Uh, well, we could have made it really cool, but um, nothing can top our awesome day today. So, that's yep. about it. Okay. Um, well, anything else? No, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and look out for new videos. Yep, and starting this week, new videos every Wednesday, posted in German. I'm crossing my fingers because yeah. that's a hopeful promise. <laughs> Not because I'm trying to jinx you or But she's you or got anything. all her projects that she said no yes, to do. Yes, projects. So, hmm. Yeah, so we'll see how that turns out, and hopefully you'll be able to get a weekly video. Okay, bye guys! Bye!